Hey golfers, Tony with Reactionary Golf. Want to go to the beginning of where Reactionary Golf came from. And this actually derived from my thesis where I wanted to measure the muscle activation in the trail pack major, which is going to be right here. So on this downswing, really how did that play? We saw the, the, the flamingo drill work very effectively, and we wanted to com compare that flamingo drill to a regular stance. So when we started looking at mo muscle activation, we see a couple different components of muscle activation. One is what is called motor reaction time, which is the pre-activation of the muscles before we actually see movement externally like in your kinematics. So this is kind of like a kinetic force within the muscle itself. And then after that, then we have our regular movement and the whole thing is considered a response time. So we would see the club move in transition here, but we actually get muscle activation prior to that movement. So what we did, we took the golfers, we had them do the flamingo drill and then just measured their activation. Then we said, okay, go back to your regular stance, hit balls. We counterbalanced it. And what we saw here with this motor reaction time is this activation trial pec was there, but as soon as they went to the regular stance, it disappeared. So what it did was force them to use their arms more. And what reason why that's so important is because when we look at the downswing, which is the ballistic movement, it has to be pre-programmed in order to synchronize that up. That activation did that. Where before, if the lower body is too active, the arms are getting left behind, we get that loose swing. And that's kind of what we saw with a lot of golfers because, you know, the average golfer slices, that's what these guys were doing. So how do we take all this information about how this muscle works and apply it to the golf swing? We don't even think about it. That's where we get that feeling of that effortless power in the golf swing. When we make our best swings, hit the best shots, this is exactly what happens. So we don't have to even think about it. Unfortunately, Jeff here doesn't have a whole lot of muscles. So if you work on positions and stuff like that, that's not a dynamic motion. We don't want to do that. So get the flamingo drill, feet together drill are two ways. And this is the origination of this motor reaction time is reactionary golf. And that's what it's about is how to improve your swing without thinking about it. So motor learning, motor skill development is what we're going to be showing and sharing with you in 2020 as we revamp inside the golf lab and reactionary golf to give you more access to our videos, more access to applying the science to improve your swing. Just to share information is not going to make you better, but it's how we use that information and how you can use that information to improve your golf swing. So I look forward to that. We're going to get some lot of help. Chris Doster is going to jump in with Top Hat Enterprises and totally revamp anything. Brent and I are talking from Be Better Golf about an upcoming golf school in early 2020. We're still working on that. We're trying to do something maybe down in Florida. So we've got a lot of things going on and really look forward to sharing with you. But you're going to see a lot of things change. But don't worry. It all comes down to how to improve your golf swing, to find your swing, find your game, make it easy. But giving you some evidence of why we approach it this way because guess what we don't see any of this motor reaction time in a kinematic movement but we've measured it internally thanks for watching come and join us at inside the golf lab as we open things up for 2020 and share with you all of our secret sauce of how to improve your golf swing thanks for watching